this session I'm going to cover a little bit printing and the viewing and the setting of the print area of the document and also inserting comments in the document. So let's suppose that you are going to, let's say for training or for expenses, you wanted to put some notes. Or let's say that you are uh, putting down uh, different values for a specific customer and you want to put notes particularly for that specific customer and that cell. So what you can do is for any cells you can insert comments. So you go under review and then you choose comment and then you add comments. So you could have something like this. So notice whenever you put comments it just puts a red mark as you hover the mouse over that cell it shows those comments. So that comes in very handy. They will not print by default, however you can choose to print them as you need them. One of the things here under the view in the bottom, under page layout, you can look at it and this is how, if you were to print it out right now, this is how it will print by simply clicking on this icon right here. So as you are in, in page layout here, notice that you can change the heading. You can go also and insert stuff on the footer. And under the footer, you can go under the Design tab here, under Contextual Tools, and you can insert, for example, the, the page number or date and time and all that type of stuff. Now, once you are ready to print it, you can go under File and then choose Print. Notice a preview will be displayed as you try to print the document. Now, there will be times where you want to change the margins or you change something right before you print it because the print preview does not look that good. So what you can do is notice it's hidden kind of here in the very bottom right. You click on this show margins and you can customize this layout so it prints a different way for you. So let's say we want that a little bit wider and so on. So you can adjust it, either shrink it or adjust it to make it bigger or smaller depending on what your needs are. Let's return back home here and go under the home, the normal tab here. There will be times, and I'll show you here at this point, how you can set the print area. Sometimes there will be large areas, like uh, because the spreadsheet can contain up to a million records and 16,000 columns. And you don't want to print all of that stuff. So sometimes you want to print only a certain section of it. Let's say you want to print only this portion of it. So to print only a specific portion of it, what you have to do is you have to go under the page layout and then choose the set print area. Set print area, drop down here and then click on set print area. At this point, when you go to press print and then print again, notice only that portion will print out. If you do not want this area anymore to be printed, but you want something else, you can go to the page layout, then choose the set print area, and then clear it. Once you clear it, then you can select a different area to be printed. Select it, set print area, and then go under file, and then choose print, and notice only that portion will print out. So this is a different concept on the setting of the print area in Excel different from Microsoft Word or other applications.